Hey everyone, another video here from Elmtech, the UK distribution partner for SketchUp. And once again, we're looking at SketchUp Pro 2017 in this video, um, and uh, another one of the new features or changes in this release. Um, so we've got a couple to, to show you in this one. Um, firstly, if I come up and choose the line tool, um, over the past few years, SketchUp have really enhanced the way in which we can snap or inference to certain axes. Um, and we've had over the past couple of years the ability to lock with my uh, up left and right hand arrows to specific uh, constraints or axes. There's nothing new there, but what we have added or what SketchUp have added this year is the ability to, um, to do that on face. For example, if I take any, uh, any angle, it doesn't really matter what it is in this uh, particular example, but I've got a, a beam here that's just at a slight angle. If I hover my mouse over that face and, uh, and start drawing, um, when I start drawing away from that face, you'll notice just by hovering over the face, the, the entire face will highlight in pink. If I hold down my shift key and then move my mouse, it will just uh, lock this line to the axis of this face. Um, so we can very quickly draw a line that's perpendicular to an existing face. And again, it's just a case of drawing that line away from that face, hovering over and going again. So just to show that one more time, grab the line tool, hover over a face, click, start drawing, and literally just hover your mouse over that face. So as soon as you get roughly perpendicular, I can hold down shift and drag my mouse away to draw that line. We can do exactly the same thing with the rectangle tool. So if I go to the rectangle tool here and start drawing on this face with the rectangle tool, um, before I do anything and before I start drawing, I'm just going to hover over the face and hold down my shift key. That will highlight the face. But as long as I keep shift held down, and if I bring my mouse now slightly down here in a slightly different location and start drawing, it will draw my rectangle perpendicular or aligned to that face um, whilst being in a slightly different location. So we've got the ability to come in and draw perpendicular to a face with the line tool and with the rectangle tool as well. Whilst we're on the subject of the rectangle tool, we also now have the ability to use those snap tools that I showed you earlier with our arrow keys to lock our rectangle to, to those inference axes if you want to. So again, SketchUp Pro 2017 really starting to show some, um, some fantastic tools for both new and existing users to make your ease of use a lot higher. So the ability to snap perpendicular to a face with both the line and the rectangle tool and introducing previously implemented tools such as the access snapping to more functionality with the rectangle tool. Hope that's been useful and we'll catch you next time.